Okay, today we'll be opening up and comparing these two Motorcraft oil filters. This older style made Motorcraft oil filter that we're all used to, number FL500S, and this newer style Motorcraft oil filter, number FL2121, which looks to be the replacement for this FL500 oil filter. And these two oil filters are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is a network. Okay, so let's start with the FL500S and look at the box here. Silicone hand drain back valve, pressure relief valve, filter media. But it really doesn't give you any important information other than that. So let's open this box up and see what this filter looks like. The date code. 9010-92313. This is a sticker. And right here you got majority content made in USA. And this filter has seven elongated inlet holes. You can see the silicone and drain back valve. It's got a metal core with louvers. I don't know if you can see that. The bypass valve is right up here. You can see the spring right there. And it's got three grooves there for threads. Nitro rubber gasket. It sticks out pretty nice. Alright, let's look at this FL2121 oil filter. Look at the date code. 122823EN. Product of USA. And we look here also, it'll say, Majority content made in USA. This is a sticker also. And this looks to be a champ made oil filter. It has eight inlet holes, nylon center core, bypass valve down below, and four grooves there for threads. Also, a nitro rubber gasket, which sticks out pretty good. Let's check these out here. Yeah, it sticks out. Sticks out a little more than the than the FL500. So to me, this looks like this one looks like a pure later made. This one looks like a champ made. All right, let's open these two filters up. A little bit taller, also. Let's open these two filters up and see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. This is the old Motocraft, 288.3 grams. And that's what I'll refer to them as old and new. And this is a new Motocraft, 231.8 grams. And I want to point out that the old Motocraft comes in one of these kind of boxes, whereas the new Motocraft didn't have no box. Maybe they didn't make them yet. They haven't come up with them yet, but uh, just want to point that out. And I'll put the thickness of these gaskets up on the screen. The new Motocraft on my right is a little bit thicker. A little thicker gasket than the, the older Motocraft. But both nice gaskets. Okay, base plates. New Motocraft, 104.7 grams. The old Motocraft, 103.7 grams. It's only a gram off. Take a look at these guys. The new Motocraft's got one extra groove there for threads. And I like all these inlet holes. Yeah, these inlet holes right here and here. Kind of a nice base plate. But the old Motocraft's also nice because these are elongated holes, so that's pretty good. I'd give these guys a tie. Maybe slight edge going to the new one. And they got the silicone and drain back valves. They're nice. Covers up the holes, the inlet holes nicely. Okay, filter elements. Let's look at the new, or the old Motocraft. 108.4 grams. And the new one, 34.7 grams. All right, let's take a look at the old one. So the old one has this kind of a bypass valve, at the base end bypass valve. You can see the spring in there. But there's a little bit of extra glue on this filter. See some glue there. Actually, a lot of extra glue, glue here. 
a little bit through here and here. All right, here's the seam. And I counted 58 pleats on this old motorcraft. And this is a cellulose polyester media with a micron rating of 95% for particles greater than 30 microns. Okay. Now the new one, no one's got this, these fiber end caps, which, you know, I call them felt. They're fiber engineered felt end caps. And it's got the glued seam right here. And this being a champ made filter, I'm going to say that this is a synth synthetic blend media with a micron rating of 99% particles greater than 30 microns or at 30 microns. And this filter has 63 pleats. So it has five more pleats. Also, you can see the center, nylon center core there. Okay, what's inside? I'm on the, we got a stamp leaf spring on the motorcraft. The old motorcraft and the new motorcraft has this bypass valve right here. Okay, the cans. Craft 67.7 grams. Old Motorcraft, 56.4 grams. And I'll put the thickness of these guys on this, up on the screen. The new one here, here on my right is a little bit thicker. Not much, but a little bit. Okay. Now let's get the width of these filter medias. So I'm getting 3.11 inches wide for the old motorcraft. That's minus a tenth tenth of an inch. This one I'm gonna measure right inside here because these things come right apart. So 3.39 inches wide even for the new new motorcraft. Because these will come right off. I can just tear these off, see this. Yeah. So that'll come right off. All right, well, let's take these two filters. I think the, the old motorcraft has deeper pleats, so this could equal out. Let's see. I'll cut them open, uh, stretch them out, and see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, so here they are stretched out. And the old motorcraft is 45 and a half inches long. The new motorcraft, 44 inches long. Okay, now let's get the thickness of this filter media. This is the old motorcraft. 0.92 millimeters thick. The new motorcraft. 0.93 millimeters thick. Pretty much the same thing. And here's the filtering side. Back side. And if we look at these guys under a microscope, they look like they do... An equal job of filtering I, I would say they would maybe it might give a slight edge to the the old mi motorcraft but it might be just because it's a darker color let's take a look at that picture so as you can see they both look like they do a pretty good job filtering you get about 10 square inches more filter media with the new Motocraft oil filter. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So the gaskets, you know, I'd give them a tie because it, the new one's slightly thicker, but I mean, they both look like good gaskets. Silicone drain back valves, I'd give them a tie there. Base plates, slight edge on the new one, new Motocraft. Now you got these kind of end caps here, which I'm not a big fan of, or you got the metal end caps. So I give that to the old motorcraft and also the bypass valve. I would give, uh, you know, this is the new motorcraft. 
and I would give the bypass valve to this old motor craft. And I'm figuring they're probably making these filters this way. They're probably going to swap them all this way. So if you're a fan of the old motor craft with the base and bypass valves, you might want to stock up on a bunch of these because they're, they're probably going to disappear. You know, I imagine these are more expensive to make. So, you see the spring in there, and there's a lot more metal here. So, it, this looks like it would be a, involve a lot more, more money to make. The cans, I give them a tie. And the cores, well, you got, you know, you got a good flow here. <laughs> and let's check out the lures on this one. Get the light. Yeah, you can see that they're open up. Those are opened up real nice. No problems there. So between these two, I think I would go with the old one just because I like these base end bypass valves. The only problem with the old one was the excess glue. Otherwise, I don't think you go wrong with either one. So what do you guys think about these two filters? And with that being said, I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, oil filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The old Motocraft filter media weighs 17.7 grams. The new Motocraft filter media weighs 22.1 grams.